In this video, you're going to learn why you should be focusing on building up an email list as a priority and how it is actually the biggest asset that you're going to have as a business or a personal brand. So you can see I have an email list here. And essentially, this is a list of emails for existing or potential customers. Now, why have I bothered to do this? Why is this valuable? Well, with this list, I can notify them every time I send out a blog post that gets traffic to my website. Anytime that I have a market research survey, if I want to figure out what products to sell, I can email the my email list and help and ask them what they want. And that really helps me reduce the risk and create a product that people are actually going to buy. I can re-engage in existing customers and say, hey, you know, you bought the last product, here's another one that would really suit your needs as well. And it's not just me that is saying that building an email list is important. It's actually this great article, seven experts on why building an email list is so important. And Neil Patel here, well-known marketer, and he says, out of all the channels I've tested as a marketer, email continually outperforms most of them. Not only does it have the highest conversion rate, but as you build up your list, you can continually monetize by pitching multiple products, etc. This is a great example. Just look at e-commerce sites like Amazon. One way they continually get you to buy more products from them is emailing you offers on a regular basis. So perfect example for it. It's perfect for e-commerce. You bought this. Why don't you have a look at this? You know, so for a blog, for an e-commerce site, for a services business, it doesn't matter what type of your businesses you have. An email list is going to be your biggest asset because it can drive traffic and sales. And uh, let's go down. I think there was one other good one in here. Noah Kagan, another very well-known marketer. Um, as he says, after you wake up in the morning, what's the first thing you do? I know it's for me, it's checking email. I'd have to agree to that. I check my emails first things in, in the morning as well. And he has a seven figure business and 90% come of their revenue comes from emails. So if that rings true for you, you check your emails a lot. I definitely read all of my email subject lines, even if I don't open them. And I look at this a lot more than I do personally social media because there's a, so much content on social media. And that's the maybe final reason you want to build up an email list as essentially an insurance policy. Because on Facebook, there is so much content being submitted that Facebook have to filter content down. And so they're only going to show the most uh, highly engaged content in someone's news feed. So even if you build up an audience on Facebook, you make a post, not everybody is going to see your post because Facebook have to filter it down. There's just too much content. They have to protect the experience of the user. Not so with an email. When you send an email, it's going to hit the inbox of everybody on your list. Whether they open it or not, they're going to see it. And on, on platforms like Facebook, they, they might not even be aware that you've created a post. So in terms of visibility as well, just the email list just trumps all of the other platforms because they have to filter down contact the content. There's just too much there. So if your content's not getting a lot of engagement, your followers are not going to see it. And that's why email is so, so valuable. Now, it's still extremely useful to use Facebook and other platforms, but just in case they just decide to change the rules, they limit your, the filter the content even more, you might even get kicked off Facebook for a breach of policy terms. You could get kicked off Amazon for breaching their terms of service, etc. It happens and you don't want that to happen to you where you have no backup plan. And that's why even if you don't plan on sending a lot of emails, it's just a great insurance policy to have an email list built up that you fully control and that you can use to send emails and reach your customers directly. So hopefully that's convinced you why building up an email list is so important. It's going to be the biggest asset you have. You can use it to sell products, drive traffic to blog posts, drive traffic to YouTube videos, get responses to market research surveys. It's a fantastic asset to have. Whether you are a personal brand or a company, you need to focus on this as a priority to build this up. It's key to really growing your business.